What is up guys, I'm Celis Williams, aka The School Fester, here to educate you on health and social well-being in disguise. Not planned, very random video, but I always open up my videos saying I'm here to educate you on health, fitness, and social well-being, and I know I have not done social well-being Sunday videos consistently in a long time, so I've just decided that, you know what, it doesn't have to be Sunday, even though it's very catchy, whenever I want to just talk to you guys about something more related to social well-being, I'm going to do that. I know that a lot of you just watch this because you want that informative content as far as like more like, you know, the health, the fitness, the nutrition, strength and conditioning, but at the end of the day, guys, as I've always said, none of that means anything if you don't have social well-being, if you don't have like good health mentally, emotionally, socially, everything like that. Um, and what I kind of just want to talk about just because in light of a lot of things that's going on, you know, in terms of like Vegas and then before that things like, you know, hurricanes, earthquakes, or even just any personal things you guys are going through right now. I just want to talk to you guys about um, pretty much tragedy tragedy personal issues and kind of what i believe is like not so much even the best way to deal with it but i just want to talk to you guys about like dealing with it as a whole because everybody goes through something at some point and i think that's the first thing i want to talk about is the importance of acceptance guys because it's like a lot of people live with the mindset not even purposely but they subconsciously live with the mindset of that could never happen to me that's never going to happen to me and everybody kind of feels that way just because we're creatures of habit. We get adapted and used to what we go through on a daily. So when tragedy hits, we don't expect it. And, and, and it shocks us. We almost kind of want to reject it initially just because, you know, you may see it on the news. You may see it happen to other people. But that's kind of what we do. We just, we, we never, you know, think about it with us, with, within ourselves. And that's something that we, we honestly just got to get away from. Not in the sense that you live your life, or live every day in fear or worry about what may or may not happen, but that you understand that you need to treat every day as if though it's your last. And once again, not out of fear where you like hide up in your room because you're scared that you're gonna die tomorrow. But no, I mean that in the sense of live each day with purpose. Whether it's you know whether it's whether you're hanging out with friends, spending time with family, going to work, do everything you can to the best of your ability, and take pride in everything that you do. Don't have any regrets. Don't let a day go by where you stay too caught up, you know, being angry at someone that you care about, or don't let a day go by where you wasted energy on somebody that you don't care about. Like like even with social media, like it's always funny to me when you see people who like, you know, are going back and forth in their comment sections on YouTube, Instagram, having like these these arguments like with trolls and stuff like that. Now mind you, I, I'm not talking about people where like maybe you're having a discussion or disagreement and you're really trying to understand each other's point of view. We do that on this channel a lot. But I'm talking like this person clearly is just trying to screw with you. Why are you putting forth energy into that? There's no need for that. And um, in light of everything that's going on, just like I said, like with the Vegas incident, like n all those people who like died or were injured, they were not expecting that. They weren't thinking that was going to happen to them because once again, nobody thinks like, you know, tragedy is initially going to hit them. But um, one thing that I learned, um, for those of you who you know were OG subscribers, you guys already know this, but I currently have three living siblings, but I had a fourth sibling, my eldest sister, and she passed away in 2011, year before I graduated from high school. And what shook me more than anything was just like, it just seemed so wrong. It's like, it was like, it's like, why? Like my, my family's good, she's a good person, she works hard, she was dealing with a lot of stuff, dealing with a lot of stress, which of course played into what happened as far as her, um, you know, developing cancer and dying or anything like that but it's like I just didn't want to accept that like no this isn't right this shouldn't happen to us like we don't deserve this but guys like life is no respecter of person like life's just not fair and that applies to everyone some people say like oh you know bad things just happen to good people or you know or it's or some people believe the opposite like oh you know you give what you get like you put out positive energy you're always gonna get positive energy put out negative energy and th that's true to an extent like you know obviously most people who treat other people well are gonna be treated well themselves if you treat people like crap you're probably gonna get treated like crap yourself but as far as just like you know nature just like the world in general it's not fair like it doesn't people don't care i think the day life doesn't care if you're a good or bad person like everyone deals with stuff everybody goes through something but i just want to encourage all of you once again to rather than letting that discourage you to just live your life with more purpose with more meaning like i feel like too many people get caught up in things that don't matter even with working out and lifting that's why i always tell people like you gotta be self-validated like this you know the like the aesthetics the strength health nutrition all of that it's great but at the end of the day it should be something that expands upon your life it should not be the source of your life nothing that you do or anyone that you hang out with should be the source of who you are it should be something that expands upon you you should find contentment and growth as i've talked about on this channel before just trying to grow discover more about yourself 
better yourself as a person and kind of just see like what all life has for you both the good and the bad take all the experiences in and grow from it and better yourself um not that there's anything wrong with feeling upset when tragedy hits it's normal to, to mourn and to be upset and to be sad by things that go on but it's also accepting that this is kind of the world we live in it's part of how things work and not letting it defeat you and just the importance of regardless of what you're feeling right now knowing that you can overcome it. you don't have to stay in that place but part of what helps with that is understanding that it can happen to you because when these things happen guys it's okay if it if it if it shakes you but it shouldn't shock you you shouldn't just be so shocked by everything where you just can't handle it and you break down because then you're not living in reality you're living in a, in a bubble or or an echo chamber or something because it's like if you walk around feeling like none of this stuff should happen to you or you don't deserve any of it it's like well you know if we're, if we're talking about like from our understanding nobody deserves a lot of things but it just happens so um just i'm kind of just ranting at this point with you guys that's kind of how my social being videos go i'm just kind of talking from my heart saying what kind of comes to mind but it it just sucks because like several people have lost you know either friends or family and a lot of things going on like in vegas the hurricanes the earthquakes people die every day period somebody always loses somebody every day and like we don't really think about it. it's like it's something that we know but we don't really most people let's be honest we don't take the time to really think that, like man a life is lost every day whether it's due to sickness or somebody you know getting murdered or a freak accident whatever it is somebody dies every day and you have to keep in mind that that somebody could very well be you it could be so once again don't take people for granted don't take your life for granted it's a gift enjoy it embrace it i don't care what your beliefs are in terms of like how you think we got here where you think we're going like you know when you, when you die if you think there's anything when you're done, but at the end of the day like you're here right now and whether you think life something just randomly happened or something that you know like was meant to be like it's still your life and you should live it to the fullest that you can and do your best to enjoy it as much as you can not that you i'm not telling you guys just to go out and like you know party drink get high have fun like do that all the time like i'm not that's not what i'm saying but what i mean enjoy i just mean in everything that you do like enjoy it to the fullness you know what i'm saying like even for the job that you that you're in right now it's not your career that you want but you're just doing because it makes you money you're trying to you know maybe you're trying to get through college you're in transition phase like man do that job well do that job to the best of your ability if you're in school right now whether you're in high school college man don't just blow your class out as well like learn something apply it make it worth your time especially if you're in college guys like like <laughs> where it costs money you have to pay for it like make that worth the investment and ultimately like i said it just comes down to like like the way we are with people how we treat one another like accept the fact that even if you don't mean to if you don't intentionally do it that you can piss somebody off that you can hurt somebody grind it at the end of the day yes we're all in control of our own choices we can't control the people or things are going around us we can only control how we respond to people and how we respond to things that's why i'm a big believer in hey respond don't react but regardless like and i have to work on this myself i'll be so quick to be like okay the way this person is reacting to me is irrational it doesn't make any sense because i know that i didn't do anything that my intentions were but maybe the way they perceived what you did they took it a certain way and except the fact that it's not worth feeling right to let that continue on it's worth reaching out talking to one another making things last and then determining what's worth fighting for and what's not some friendships guys aren't worth fighting for because you just don't connect with the person on that level anyway just let it go but those people that you love that you care about who are in your life hold on to them cherish them fight for them and enjoy them while you have them because you might not tomorrow and you might not be here tomorrow but yeah I think I'm done ranting for now, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you did. If you did not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to get better. Like the video, share, subscribe. Keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch y'all later.